Alright everyone, welcome back to Alien Isolation. So, I'm supposed to find a short range ambulance. Interesting. Okay, so yeah, it's this way. Uh, first I'm gonna look over here. That's nice. Grise and Sinclair. We need supplies. Take what you can from whoever you want. I found an area in habitation where we can seal ourselves in and wait for rescue. I've got guys welding vents shut and shutting off elevators. Plan is to make it watertight. There's no room for more people in the sanctuary. But we can make space for their food, meds, water, and guns. If we're gonna get everyone through this alive, there's no room for pity. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, okay. Door, just in case. Hello. Good boy. And then around here. Here again, huh? I see a unit from my terminal. Models already taken one of the shuttles.
Vielen Dank. Was tun wir hier? Sell my gas mask. Yep. Okay. So what do we got here? Sounds like the system check went okay. Some ducks still need rewriting, but as I keep getting told, there's not much we can do about it when the Nostromo is in the air. Parker's coming up with the sign-off sheets. But I know Ripley wants to chew his ear about the secondary load unit. I'm gonna stay out of it for now. They know what they're doing. Dallas Nostromo Captain signing off. Hmm. Alright, now it's Dallas from the, fir from the first movie. Where's like the sprinkler system? Hmm. Anyway. Yeah, this guy has seen better days. Julia Jones, and I'm a writer covering Sevastopol's decommissioning. I was hoping to interview you about your experiences on the station. You know, the limited medical resources, the mental effects on patients in deep space, that kind of thing. But look, Doctor, I've heard there was some kind of incident in the hospital. It's really deep. No one seems to know anything. Doctor, there's a major public health issue here on Sevastopol. People need to know. I'm freelance. I'm biased. I don't have any corporate affiliation. Let me be a friend to you. Call me. Uh -huh. So I'm not going this way. Does look tasty. Yeah, pizza, burgers, chicken, tacos. Yeah, now nah, I'm hungry. Not sure what those things are. Hmm. 
plenty of explosives. So now I'll hold on here. Okay. I need a heal. Give me a second. Uh, let's see here. Okay. Okay. So let's continue. That respawn or eh, never mind. But yeah, bloody androids. Remember me? 
your friendly Sikhs and chief executive. Lingard, you don't drop by, you don't call. Aren't we pals anymore? Oh, well, we're both busy people. And after all, I have lots of other friends. Some of them have badges. One of them told me you called Marshal Waits about a, shall we say, interesting find? I want in. No arguments. After all, how much does Waits really know about you? Not as much as your old friend here. And I bet he wouldn't be as understanding about black market med supplies. I look forward to your call, Doc. Okay. Uh, question, is that gonna blow up? Nope, okay. Fair enough. Okay. Let's keep moving. Look at that view. Save again. I guess I'm here. Damn, my access tuner isn't powerful enough. Vulnerable, sir. There has to be a way. Okay, I guess I need an upgrade. Now that was easy. Oh, wait. Ooh. 
okay. Can I unpack this real quick? Let's see here. Uh, come on. the Anisadora. Save. Dark, pretty quiet. Yeah, this is lovely. I think we may have broken our losing streak. We've barely been scraping a living the past couple of years, and the Anisadora is starting to look like the wrecks we salvage. Can't say the crew's been faring any better. Then we found that flight recorder. It belongs to a ship, the Nostromo, Wayland Yutani property. That means there'll be a reward. But then, Marlowe had an even better idea. Extrapolate the path of the flight recorder to try to find the wreck of the Nostromo. We got lucky. Found a distress signal, and now we're following it. This is it. I can feel it in my bones. He always said he'd do right by me. Okay. Say so, ammo. Yeah, what we got? Forty-five ten. We're outside Sebastopol. Marlow and Foster woke up first. She looked terrible. Meeks and me are about to take a shuttle to the station. But well, this has got to break quarantine procedures, right? It's Milo's ship. She's Milo's life. The thing's got heat, and Meeks got a bloody nose. So, I don't know. Maybe the doctors will give her the all clear and things can get to normal. But if they sniff it out when we get on board, I don't want any part of it. Milo doesn't pay nearly enough for that kind of noise. Uh -huh. to the other one.
Venga. Y sí. Marlo, you son of a bitch, you had a face hugger on board. Ugh. Unfucking believable. Again, a good thing I was quick to react. Yeah, get out of my white boxes. Okay. Anisadora, this is Marshal Waits of Sebastopol. Officially, I should deny your request to dock. Sebastopol is currently being decommissioned, and I can't compromise security for unscheduled vessels. However, in the light of the property you found, I will allow a small number of your crew to dock via a short-range shuttle. I must remind you that Sebastopol is entitled to a cut of any reward for return of said property once it's on station. Let me know your decision. Wait up. Okay, being prepared for more facehuggers. But hey, if there's a will, there's a way. Okay, let's see here.
save. This looks important. Use terminal. Okay. Added report personal message. This is for my daughter. Hi, Amanda. I'm recording this for you, my sweetheart, and I hope you get to hear it one day. You see, I, um, I got into trouble. Um, my ship, there was an accident, sweetheart, and, um, we found an alien creature it was very dangerous. And the only way we could stop it was to destroy the ship. Uh, I'm okay. I'm stuck on this lifeboat, long way out. But we had to destroy the ship. We had to destroy the Nostromo. We just couldn't risk bringing that thing home with us. I needed to protect you. Don't worry. Don't worry about me. I'm sure I'll see you very soon. I love you, sweetheart. Ah. Mom. Alan Ripley. Yes, this. 
Poor Taylor. Ah, Jesus, the frames. Come on, open. Ah. Gotta get the hell out of here. Ah, Jesus, the frames. I know. Ah, Jesus. Ah. Come on, keep moving. Oh, Jesus. Oh, Jesus. Ah. Yeah, gravity is being a little screwy. to contact the, the torrents. Guys with guns, huh? Okay. Come on, come on, come on. Okay. Hey. 
Right inside. around here. these guys
Why not ask me about Sebastopol safety protocols? So far, there is no alien. Ooh, okay.
And let's see here. Yeah, sorry, man. It's survival of the piss out here. I would like to save and call it a video. Whatever. Yeah, the frames. Shortcut. Just gonna go on this terminal. Marie, if you get this, I'm making my way to Seeks and Communications now. I didn't wake you because I knew you'd try and stop me. Please understand this is our best shot. Someone has got to reestablish communications. We need to make sure the officials back at home know what's going on here. Don't worry about me. I'll be back. I'm not gonna leave you and Claire alone. Okay. 
Well, well, everyone, thank you for watching this episode of Alien Isolation. So yeah, a uh, bit of a crazy episode so far. Uh, yeah, so uh, <laughs> I guess I'll see you guys next time. Later.